Please follow the sound of a barking dog. Well, I started out as a kid. My dad was a coon hunter, so I've been around hounds uh, since I can remember. This is one of my old dogs. Uh, Osage is his name. Another year or so, I'm afraid he'll be retired. He's an old dog like his owner. We have several collars on this dog to uh, help us locate him, basically. One's a GPS collar, so uh, we can use that in research. And we can tell where he's treed, or where he's tracking a mountain lion. We typically help the dog sort out the direction because uh, very often they're working on a cold track and it's too cold for them to tell which direction the lion went. If it's a cold track, it'll be a ball, an ooh a little bit shorter if it's a warmer track. No off switch on those dogs. And then when they get to the tree, they'll typically turn into a chop. It's an out, 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 a rhythmic chop. Three, two, one. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And like dogs in other contexts, they tend to be very enthusiastic. In this case, particularly about pursuing mountain lions. Speak to him, I'll say. Speak to him. Where is he? Where is he? There's your cat. A little groggy. Good job, Osage. We have 33 centimeters circumference. So that just gives you a shot of adrenaline when you hear your dogs treeing and you're anxious to get there and see what they've got. And uh, they're all excited and jumping up on the tree. Uh, it's, uh, if you're really into the dogs, there's nothing else like it in the world. <laughs>